first newspapers as we know them appeared back in Germany in the late 1400s. In the U.S., Boston touts the first newspaper called Public Occurrences, beginning circulation back in the year 1690. And while quite a bit has changed since then, the process of making a paper has pretty much remained the same. Story ideas are pitched to newspaper editors and a list of what will appear in the paper the next day is made. Then, reporters hit the streets to talk to people to get the information they'll need to write their article. Then, they write it, submit it, and a team assembles all the articles that will appear in the paper so they all fit perfectly. Once that's complete, the paper is saved as a digital file and sent to a printing facility just like the one the news press has right here in St. Joseph. From there, the image of the paper is transferred to these metal sheets that are placed on a gigantic press, which in turn actually makes the paper. It's a lot more complicated than we make it sound. Literally, thousands and thousands of papers are printed here every single day, loaded onto trucks, into cars, and delivered to you. So that's how the pros make a paper. But you may be sitting at home asking yourself, what if I want to start my own paper? Well, Alex, we found just the right person to answer that question for us. I'm Della Renee Arnold, and I'm in the fourth grade, and I go to Parkway Elementary, and I write a very good newspaper. Della has been making and distributing her own newspaper for a few months here in St. Joseph, and she does it just like the pros. We get a piece of paper, and every, when we, and every time we do a really big thing, we just write them down on the big piece of paper, and then we write them down in the newspaper. So, she comes up with ideas, makes a list, and writes her articles. Then, just like the pros, she gets them out on the street. All the people in my neighborhood, my family, and anybody who wants to get them, sometimes they just pay me. Which means she actually is a pro, even facing some of the same technical difficulties larger newspapers face, like the time her mom's printer ran out of ink. But it doesn't discourage her. Just like the big guys, you can count on her newspaper making it to its readers no matter what. So how long do you think you're going to keep doing this? Um, until I'm probably dead. <laughs> That's a long time. And that's the deal with newspapers.